Childhood obesity is one of the most pressing public health concerns in the United States and around the world. The Surgeon General has even gone as far to say that obesity is a greater threat to life than terrorism when we consider the number of people at risk. The number of overweight children in the United States has more than tripled over the past three decades. At the same time, the fast food industry has increasingly and aggressively marketed their products to children. Fast food commercials making up 36% of the ads during children's media programming. The average child is exposed to about 27 food ads each day. If nothing is done to address this epidemic, this may be the first generation in which children do not outlive their parents. The fast food industry, government, and consumers each have a stake in addressing this huge issue concerning the health of our children. The fast food industry spends about $660 million each year on marketing to children. More than half of that is spent on toy giveaways. McDonald's, creator of the Happy Meal, was one of the first to build a marketing strategy that focused on building a lifelong relationship with children. Fast food advertisers use psychological and emotional appeals of fun, happiness, play, fantasy, sports, and social acceptance. Using an appealing story to promote high-calorie, low-nutrient food products, fast food advertisers influence the food preferences of children. Children respond to the association of food with being popular or cool. Unfortunately, often children are unable to tell the difference between advertising and information. They don't understand the motives of advertising, nor do they understand the consequences of obesity. It is irresponsible to take advantage of children this way. But fast food advertisers don't want to take the blame for childhood obesity. They point the finger to other factors, such as lack of exercise and lack of parental discipline. The fact remains, however, that if advertising to children wasn't profitable, they wouldn't be spending the money. The government is unwilling to interfere with free enterprise. It's hard for government to objectively put regulations on fast food companies like McDonald's when they are a prime employer in our economy. McDonald's is responsible for 90% of the country's new jobs. Not only that, but they are also the nation's largest purchaser of beef, pork, and potatoes, and second largest purchaser of chicken. The U.S. Constitution protects freedom of speech. The very idea of government attempting to regulate fast food marketing to children is met with protests from the food companies and the public because they see it as a violation of the First Amendment. The Federal Trade Commission does have the ability to regulate individual food ads if they are deceptive or unfair, but their scope of authority is limited. The government has largely allowed the fast food industry to regulate itself. San Francisco's local government recently voted to ban McDonald's from including toys in Happy Meals effective December 2011. Surprisingly, this was met with an outcry from parents who did not welcome government interference in their personal choices. Parents are supposed to be their children's advocates. So I ask you, what about the children? If the government is unwilling to protect the health of its youngest citizens, and parents are focused on consumer freedom, who will represent the interest of the child? The child who has no voice the child with the most to lose. We cannot afford as a nation to sit by and allow our children to be manipulated for profit by the media at the expense of their health.